Helena Selly, one of the authors of Motivation and Learning Strategies for College Success, a focus on self-regulated learning that is now available in its sixth edition. Did you know that self-regulation can be a better predictor of performance than our ability? At one time, it was believed that our performance, whether it's academic or professional, was determined by this sort of the inborn innate ability that we call intelligence, IQ. We know from decades of research now that that is not the case. We know that self-regulation, essentially our ability to motivate ourselves when we least want to, our ability to manage our time, to combat procrastination, to use effective strategies and to structure our physical and social environment are better predictors of our ultimate performance than our innate ability. So what is self-regulation? Let's take a look at an image that presents the different aspects of self-regulated learning. The image is organized into sort of boxes that interact and all of them driving towards academic performance on the far right hand side. So let's talk about these individual components. The first one on the top left is motivational strategies. And these are really strategies related to goal setting and regulating emotion and effort. So essentially the emotional or the affective components related to self-regulation. Underneath the motivational strategies are behavioral strategies. So how do you manage time? How do you structure and manage your physical and social environment for optimal performance? And these are things such as ensuring that you remove distractions, ensuring in terms of the social environment uh, of knowing when to study individually versus how to study in groups, for example, and how do you structure groups to optimize the uh, social environment for study. In the middle of the image are learning and study strategies. And in the book, we cover learning strategies that are spe specific to learning from course materials, from class or lecture, as well as preparing for and taking exams. And all of these interact with each other, as you see by the multi sort of directional arrows there, and all of them lead towards academic performance. And the arrows back from academic performance indicate that naturally your success or your challenges in academic performance then impact how you engage in motivational strategies as well as behavioral strategies. But the goal is really to use effective motivational and behavioral strategies as well as learning and study strategies so that you can drive the academic performance up. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out the book at routledge.com and don't forget to sign up for our webinar on January 27th, 2020 to learn more about the different aspects of self-regulation and how you can become a more self-regulated individual. Thank you.